Welcome to Style TV. My name is Wim Jaan van Goor and I'm going to show you how to make this product on the Style milling machine. Okay, I'm going to show you how to program uh, this workpiece. How do we start? It's Windows, so we start here with File, New. And here we enter what kind of material we're going to use and how big our material is. So the material is 75, Oop. 75 in the X and 115 in the Y and 20 millimeters in the Z. Okay, here is the material. The origin I will put in the middle here. So, okay. And now I can choose my first process. So here process, first process is facing. It's a milling operation. So I select milling. Now I'm gonna select my milling tool. This one, this is my milling tool. Press okay. And here I enter the, the, the cutting data of the milling tool. But this already comes from the library, so I don't have to enter. I only have to enter where to start. I will start at plus two above the material and I will go facing to zero. Okay. Here you see the, the mill. Now I go to draw, menu number two, and I select face material. Face material. I want to have an overlap, let's say of uh, 95%. The direction in which we mill, press OK. And now you can see the milling cycle on the screen. First operation. Now we go to the second one. Again, process. We go to milling. We select our tool. Press OK. Feed rate, RPM is OK. So I only have to enter where to start. We start on zero and we go to minus 20. OK. And now we press OK to confirm. First, before I start drawing, I will set my radius compensation on the left side, here. And now I start drawing. So I go to the start position of my contour. I go to absolute. The start position is minus 37.5 and zero. OK, this is the start position. And now I'm going to draw a line. So I go to draw line. The line is asking for the start point. I am on the start point, so I confirm with enter. Now I have to go to the end point, so I go to absolute. And now my end point is x0 and 115 divided by 2. Okay, there it is. Confirm with enter. And now I have to make a complete triangle, so this line, this line. So I'm not going to draw, I'm going to use mirror. So I'm going to go to select this one. I select this line. I go to edit, the second menu, and I'm first I'm going to mirror horizontal. Okay, and now I'm going to mirror vertical. Okay, and there you have your contour. Now I have to insert the radius. So I go to edit insert arc radius and the radius has to be 10 there it is okay this is the first contour with this mill we're going to make a second contour but first i have to change the parameters parameters this one has to go to minus 8 so not to minus 20 but minus 8 okay radius compensation is on the good side i go to the starting point that's the center now I go to draw, and the first arc will be one with uh, a, a radius, a start angle, and an end angle. Now the radius of the first arc is 25, start angle 180, end angle 0, so half a circle I'm going to draw, okay? And now I'm going to draw the second half with another option. So now I only enter the radius and the direction. And now I'm going to say, what's the start point? This is my start point. Enter. This, oops, this one is my end point. Also confirm with enter. And now I can choose between two arcs. I want to have this one. Okay. And there it is. Now one more, now two more operations. One milling. So we go to process. Milling. And we select the correct tool. A tool of 25 okay and this tool has to go to minus 20 
or maybe a little bit further, 22. Feed rate RPM is okay, so okay. Also with this tool I will start in the middle and I will make a pocket, a circular pocket. So I go to draw, second menu, and I'm going to make a circular pocket. Now the pocket has to go in the output counterclockwise with an overlap of 50%. Okay. Now we have to move the cursor to the center of the pocket. It's already there, so I press enter. And now we have to move to the edge of the pocket. So I will do that with relative. Relative. Now the diameter of the pocket is 38. So we have to move 38 divided by 2. Okay. There it is. Confirm with enter. There is our pocket. The last process is drilling. So I go to process, drill. I select my drill, press OK. I enter where to start, plus one. And I have to go to minus 20 or more. Let's go to 24. OK. Now the parameters uh, already came from the library, so the rest was OK. So confirm, OK. The drill is on the screen, and first I have to move the drill to the correct position. Uh, X is zero, and Y is 40. So here you can see the drill. And to make a drill hole, I have to press enter. And there is a drill hole. We have to make two, also one over there. Let's use a mirror again. So I'm going to select the hole. I go to edit, and I'm going to mirror vertical, press OK. And there it is. This is the drawing. Now, before I can execute this drawing on the machine, I have to go to output. And I have to set my tool position. I have to maybe double check my cutting data. And of course, before I go to the output, I can do a simulation, this one. And what you see now is, uh, are all the movements that will happen on the machine. And you also see the, the big end switch region. So, so how big your workpiece can be. And first, I'm going to zoom only on the product. Here it is. And I can play the complete product from start. So first thing will be facing. And the tool will now move with the exact same speed as on the machine. But for this movie, it takes too long, so we speed it up. That was facing. Now we do the, the other mill, speed it up. And here you see the total time, here you see the type of mill, the time, the current time. Next tool. So this is the, the circular pocket, speed it up. And the last operation, drilling. Also a little bit faster. And that's it, looks good. So quit, everything is okay. So now we can go to output start and start our machine. That's how easy it is. But we can do more. So instead of drawing ourselves, we can also go to insert. Uh, and we can, for example, insert a complete drawing, a DXF drawing. Or we can draw something with free contour. So if you have um, unknown values, di di uh, difficult drawings, you can use the free contour program. Uh, the real CNC users know this, macro. It's quite difficult, but you, you can do very nice things with it. And this is a new feature, the free shape. Uh, you can define your own shape with, with parameters and then you also can insert all these different shapes into your drawings. Now I will show you very fast how the DXF looks like. I go to DXF reader. I open a DXF, the DXF of this particular workpiece. And now what I can do, I can uh, zoom in, zoom out of course, like this. Uh, and now I can select in this DXF, the elements that I want to draw. So instead of drawing myself, I can select all these elements and then the elements will be inputted, imported in the drawing. I press OK. I'm not going to do it now. And then instead of drawing yourself, you can um, import a complete DXF. So it's not only uh, an easy control, you can do lots of nice things with it. <laughs>